let's get started with the Mapbox Maps SDK for Android by configuring your Mapbox credentials, adding the Mapbox dependency to your application, and getting a map up and running in an emulator. Before we start, let's cover the four prerequisites required for this tutorial. First, the related written guide linked in the description below. Second, a free account with Mapbox. Third, Android Studio. And four, Gradle. Now let's start with part one, create and configure your credentials. First, make sure you're logged into your Mapbox account. You can log in or sign up for an account by clicking the buttons in the top right corner of your browser. A default public token is included with your account to allow you access to Mapbox services. We will add this token to our project as an Android string resource, which will allow us to create maps with Mapbox. To add the token to your project first, Open your project folder or create a new project in Android Studio. If creating a new project, we recommend using the empty activity project type. Next, once Android Studio opens, in the Project Explorer, open your resource folder located at Apps, Res, Values. Now, create a new resource file by clicking on the Values folder and selecting New, values resource file. Let's name the file Mapbox access token and click on the OK button. Now in the new file, copy and paste the code from step one sub step four of the written guide. Make sure your token is included in the code snippet. If you see your Mapbox access token in your code, make sure you're logged into a Mapbox account and then copy the code snippet again from the written guide. When you're logged into your account, your default public token is automatically added to code snippets. Now that you've added your token, let's move to step two, configuring permissions. Step two of this tutorial is optional and allows allows you to configure your app to allow access to the user's device location. You can add this configuration later, but it's not necessary to use the Maps SDK. So in this case, let's move to part two, add the dependency. Now that we have our credentials created and configured, let's add the Mapbox Maps SDK as a dependency using Maven. All Mapbox SDKs are available on the Mapbox Maven repository. To add the dependency, in the file explorer, click Gradle Scripts and then Settings Gradle's KTS. In the file, add a new Maven definition inside the dependency resolution management struct by copying the code from part two, step two of the written guide. The hidden sections of the code snippet in the written guide mimic the file so you can see exactly where you need to place the code. Make sure you place this in the dependency resolution management section and not inside plugin management. Next, open up your build.gradle.kts configuration file and make sure this is the module version. Once opened, make sure that your project's min SDK is set to 21 or higher. Now let's copy the code from part two, step two of the written guide and paste it in the same file under the dependencies section. This line of code adds the Maps SDK dependency to our project by adding the latest version of com.mapbox.maps Android to our build Gradle KTS file. Optionally, if you're using Jetpack Compose to build your app, you should also add the following. To the build features section, add compose equals true, then add the Mapbox SDK Jetpack Compose extension dependency to the dependencies section. And then because we've edited our Gradle file, sync your project by clicking file, sync project Gradle files. Gradle files will not be automatically synced so ensure that you run sync every time you make changes, otherwise you might run into errors. And now that your dependencies have been set up, let's move to part three, add the map. Adding a map to your application can be accomplished with Jetpack Compose or Android Views. For this video, we'll add the Jetpack Compose code, but you can set up Android Views by following the same steps and using the Android Views code snippet instead. This snippet displays a Mapbox map composable, making it fill the entire screen. It sets an initial camera position, including zoom level, center coordinates, pitch, bearing, and you can modify these values to customize the initial view of the map for your area of interest. To add the map, first in part three of the written guide, copy the code. Next in Android Studio, click on app, Kotlin and Java, and then open the top folder that appears. Then open the main activity file and paste in your code snippet. Make sure to delete the package import line from the example code and use your own project's package import line instead. Once finished, hit save. Now, if you press play, Android Studio will take a few moments to spin up the emulator and you'll be able to see your map. You should be able to click on the map, move the globe around, zoom in, etc. If you don't see the map or run into errors while compiling, here are a few common troubleshooting solutions. First, make sure you've saved and synced your project. Click on File, Save All to make sure you haven't missed any changes, then run File Sync Project with Gradle Files in case a change wasn't synced through your project. Second, make sure you've properly added your Mapbox token. To do this, in your Project Explorer, go to App, Res, Values, Mapbox Access Token.xml and make sure a token is present and the code doesn't say, your Mapbox access token. Thirdly, check you've also imported the right components into your main activity file as seen in the example code, especially if you're adding this code to a pre-existing code base. Thank you for following along with this tutorial and see our YouTube channel for other Mapbox tutorials.